Well, Bate Borisov's stadium holds few of the midfield was their best player and their key goal scorer in the nations. Boateng, Kadira, Goetze, Chan, Bert Leno, all missing for various reasons. The UEFA general secretary who passed away this week. Uh, the corruption in international football. Worth having a, a quick read of his life story. Qualifying group. It can get a bit confusing with the same teams playing each other uh, in older reputation. They are in the, the white shirts. Spectacular. Ball. Yeah, straight away, right at the beginning of the game. That's a little bit of a lapse of concentration. Need to go for this one. Should have just pulled out the challenge. Straight back to Serge Nabry, and he pulls it back. Royce was waiting, and then the shot comes from Ilkay. And then it's delivered to the edge of the penalty area. And then the, the good open start to the game. Chances or half chances at both ends and free at the back for the German side. Uh, I'm used to seeing him as, a, as a, an aggressive attacking goalkeeper. Not many of those around. There's a story for Dennis Laptev. And uh, well, Neuer never needs a second invitation to come for. Marking the channels, really, and just picking off players. It's an interesting system. And I'm like, you know, just don't play as two natural out and out strikers, so they play in between a wide and a good movement here it's the right right the right back Hosterman who may have long for Laptev to chase the big centre forward be made there but not the case with all of them this is nice football again Napoli tries the shot so at the moment some good rotation in that German midfield Marco Kimmich half cleared Jonathan Tarr jumping on the edge of the the penalty for him to attack and the save is made it comes back again to Nabry Roy sets it up for Klosterman and the goalkeeper but that's where Nabry and Sane will like to come in those deeper positions towards that back four and as it breaks again Royce to Klosterman and that really as well and it's the, the, the centre of the three centre backs making a run down the right it's a little bit of common sense football really but sometimes it's um who's the middle of the three but when you're playing a lesser nation, striking position is it for, for Nabry? Plenty of versatile movement. He's looking for Leroy Sane. Kimmick to deliver, flicked away by Laptev, and then whipped in by Roy. That punchy type shot, as you can see. The keeper goes with his wrong. And they come again, and it's Leroy Sane with a chance of jump. Well, it's easy stuff, isn't it? Straight, straight into the back four. Strong for Belarus in these opening exchanges. Again, coming in deeper positions. He comes back on his left foot, like we all know he will do. A slower start in terms of goal scoring, certainly, than Nabry, who's got initiated. And Germany have started it very well indeed, and here's Klosterman. Should be the goalkeeper. Holding on the best that they can against Sten. Low cross, given back to him again by the captain. It will come out to be Schultz make the move, and Schultz pick a pass, and it comes back out to Royce. Win lots of titles, Bate Borisov and a number of the players in this team. Two German players left it. Klosterman joins in. Kimmich, they feel for Belarus are 80. Ginter of Munchen back tip over the top by Gundawan. Flicks it over the central defence and Sane just gets a little bit unlucky with the completed stat four to one, basically. In favour of the visitors, Germany. For the reverse ball in into Kimmich, Some delivers left footed, and supporters find their voices again more effectively. In fact, more than that, isn't it? It was Leroy Sane if he could have got that ball. The foul by Stanislav Trahun stopped them attacking, and he's made the run in. Possuman comes round the back, and the shot <laughs> is a shorty area. Four white shirts are in there waiting. What an opportunity! It was Dragoon as the arm came away, but that's a good block from Klosterman. Didn't think that that ball was going to come all the way over. Maybe a shade of hand ball there, just to... And he can put another one in there. Neuer is dominant this time and comes and punches. Get out of play, because it's Manuel ah. Neuer. He wants to show us he's the best player in the world. <laughs> Klosterman with a first-time cross. It was Sané. You can see it's just a save. It's straight at him, you can see. So... Great bit of play down in the corner afterwards. Royce made the run through the middle. Nabry wins it back. It's good work. Nabry. 
comes out for Kimmich, who pulls the trigger this time. Young player of the future for Germany. Just dragging that one wide. Getting there. But here comes Sanev through the middle. Just decided to Kimmich. Klosterman arced his run to stay from Serge Gnabry. Promising from that, he's come on leaps and bounds since he was over here. Bro. Here, and it's Gundogan to Sané. And Sané takes his time. Find a way through, not yet. Kimmich. Klosterman makes... Well, need to move it a little bit quicker. Again, they try to play Klosterman. If you just lay ten cones out, it's a surprise, and then how many times you'd hit. As long as Ginte was close to becoming the first name in the book. Here's Gundogan. And it's slipped in towards Royce. Just... Gomika. And then tipped over the top by Shitov. And it's cut back again, and Royce just overran it, and Klosterman can join in now for Germany. It slightly, finds his way at Klosterman, and there you can see... Leaning back. Leipzig, it's his second cap tonight, played in the friendly game. Trying to get into the penalty area. To do anything. Well, you need to just need another goal to kill it off, really. And Schultz with a hard low cross. And that was the central defender. And they've had to defend. They've done it pretty well. One incident in the 12th minute aside. Here come Belarus with uh, Kovalev going for the byline. He's put his cross in. Gundogan is Ginter. And it will fall for Royce. And Germany have their second. And once you jump out the line, then it's a time for someone to get in should he get on the end of a good pass. Comes from deep there. Nabry comes deeper. He comes and goes beyond. Bit of movement from a, a deeper running player. It actually leads to the goal. It was probably aimed at Nabry, wasn't it? The pass. Yeah, and it was just. Uh... And Royce can take it on. Kunduan hit the deck, but fell to a teammate. Mm, you haven't got that time. Belarus players are not really. Ginter into the area, and Royce again. And it almost fell. That's where he should be getting his shot away. Doesn't need that extra pass. Should have been shooting. So. Has to return the favours. Another player down for Belarus. Really see why he stopped that. It's just a little flick, really. And contest them, but next season you won't. They'll just be given back to whichever team. Him into a good position. Navri's finish was a little half-hearted. Going to Belarus. Ball with Sandy from Germany. That's right. Gorianchuk comes on. Former Bate Borisov. And then he teammates yeah he should really have found Schultz there it was quite an easy ball but he's just Adam Royce can arrive late again and now Kimmich on the edge of the penalty area Kimmich yes that's a foul undoubtedly slightly edging over towards that right so a left footer would be fat Keeping up or is it Sarno it is Sarno. Leroy Sané oh. to shoot nah, shooting nah. really get any elevation on it Tar just a little bit short now Royce swings it in, that's good defense. Royce to Schultz, good football this from Germany, Schultz across. And Should have finished it off, another knock to this time the keeper, another head injury. Well, Royce, he's got his goal tonight, played his part. France. There's Royce, uh, in camera shot there, he's... Uh, Quality to say an out and out striker, a goal scorer. It's all that lovely football that they're Ginta. And it goes again towards Leo Sane and it comes back up the inside of the post. And as you can see, glances the header on, should score really. And he six all over major chunk of possession. It's, it's just a little great excitement as he tries to run clear here, Scabish, but terrific recovery. Good job with those breaks. I know they've been few and far between, but you can see how they've been caught. He thought he'd been fouled. Yeah, and he's lucky not to get a yellow card there.